Today we're going to be replacing the exhaust camshaft position sensor on my son's 2016 Chevy Equinox. Uh, I've got a genuine GM replacement part here. I'm going to link to this part as well as all of the tools that I use down below. Okay. Keep in mind that this vehicle does have two camshaft position sensors in it. Uh, I'm receiving the uh, P0013 code which specifically states that it's the exhaust camshaft position sensor. Uh, what we're going to do is replace this and I'll point out the location of the intake camshaft position sensor. Uh, in, while I'm making the video, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, looking at the vehicle, the piece that we need to get to is located way back here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this intake assembly here, we're gonna remove this little cover, uh, which hopefully will give us a little bit better access to it. Incidentally, the uh, intake camshaft position sensor is right down there, if you can see that purple connector. So if we were replacing the intake CPS, our job would be a little bit easier. Uh, I don't even know if you can see the exhaust CPS here without removing this assembly, okay? Uh, so we've got a clamp to loosen down here on the intake. We've got a clamp to loosen right there. And we've got this uh, tube to remove here. And this thing should pop right off for us, all right? Let me grab some screwdrivers. All right, we'll start with the easy one here to, to film. Just loosen it up, it's not necessary to take the whole thing off. Essentially, we just need to make sure that this is gonna slip off just like that, okay? All right, I'll just point out where this uh, clamp screw is here. It's right there. I know my hands are gonna be right in the way when I remove it. Uh, you can also use a, uh, a socket if it's easier. But and again, you don't have to re remove the clamp, just loosen it up enough so that you can slide this assembly off from the intake. And we're just gonna give this a wiggle and pull. You don't wanna break anything, but it should pop out of there, okay? It's got a little, sort of an O-ring that's giving it a little bit of retention, okay? Let's see how we do here. And on the back here, we've just gotta lift up on it, kinda gently, it kinda snaps in. You'll see when I pull it off here. All right, it's got the sort of rubber grommets, if you will, and they sit down over these posts back here, okay? All right, just for the sake of uh, being safe, I'm gonna drop a rag in this throttle body here so that we don't drop something else in there, okay? Dust or other contaminants or screws, you never know, right? Just kinda leave that there. All right, we need to pull the uh, oil fill cover off. Okay, set that aside. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. Just gonna grab the back corner, kind of give a little gentle tug here. And on this front corner. And let's just pop this uh, oil cover back in place here, okay? Let's see if we get a better look at that uh, CPS now. All right, so if we head straight back here, that right there, is the connector and you know this because it looks just like the front connector okay uh, but I cannot see the 10 millimeter bolt head however I can feel it if I stick my hand back in here it's right there okay so what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna worry about the uh, the connector just yet because I think it's gonna be easier to disconnect uh, once I get the CPS out of there all right, so I think I'm gonna scrap the uh, universal idea. Uh, I'm just gonna use a quarter inch ratchet, a fairly short uh, extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. I come in this way from the side and use my other hand on the top to kind of get the socket on the bolt head. And you want to be careful not to drop your tools, too. All right, I am now able to turn it with my fingers from the top here. All right, that's it. I've got the bolt. I didn't drop it. I was basically turning it with these two fingers. See if we can uh, wiggle it out of there. All right, 
right. There it is. All right, let's get the uh, connector removed here. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, removed here. I'm going to try to do it without blocking the shot. You've got a little gray piece here that locks the plug into place. I'm going to pull up on that. Use a pick or a small screwdriver to get it past the little lock mechanism. All right, just like that. So essentially I had to push down on that. You can see it's a little springy and that allowed that to pull out. And let me see if I can get this next part on camera for you here. We're gonna flip it over, looking at the underside of the connector. I'm gonna use a little pick tool. You can use a small screwdriver and lift up uh, and then pull. Okay, so hopefully that'll make sense. There's a little, uh, little notch there that you've got to lift a tab up over okay so this uh, this whole connector comes off from the CPS all right let me grab the new one and we'll plug that in we'll get our gray lock mechanism here we'll pop that in That's it, okay? So you notice I don't have the, the uh, bolt in there because uh, I don't want to drop it. Um, so what I'm going to do is get this thing in place um, and then we'll get this thing tightened down and we'll be done. Pay attention to the how the uh, wires were routed as well. That's it, just like that, just snapped into place. Okay, let me grab the uh, bolt. This is probably the most difficult part is getting this bolt back in without dropping it. So let me see if we can do that. All right, I have it in. Now I need to wiggle the uh, CPS side to side a little bit until we find the hole and see if we can get it started. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, I'm gonna get this finished up. Uh, I'm just gonna tighten it down, but you know, don't break anything. Don't over tighten it. Um, and then you just assemble things in reverse order, okay? Hopefully this video has been helpful. Give me that thumbs up if you did find the video helpful. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you wanna see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button for me. I do all kinds of uh, auto repair, home improvement, ATV repair, you name it. I try to tackle it myself, okay? Uh, and as always, I hope everyone has a great day and uh, take care of yourself. Be kind to others and thanks for watching. Bye.